For this video, we are to verify whether the set G, which is Z sub 6, under addition module 6, is a group considering all conditions that should be met. So for this, we are going to make use of this KD table, which is the result when we are going to operate all the elements on Z sub 6, because Z sub 6 can be written with this elements 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. These are the remainders. When I talk about modulo, we're talking about the remainders when certain numbers are divided by 6. Okay? And let star here so that we could use it further later. Let star be addition modulo 6. So before we proceed with the rest of the proof, let us try to complete first this um, KDS table so that we would know later uh, the connections between the results and their corresponding elements. So let's start with our first zero and take note we are under addition and modulus 6. So 0 plus 0 is 0, modulus 6. 0 plus 1 is 1, modulus 6. 0 plus 2 is 2, modulus 6. 0 plus 3 is 3 modulus 6. 0 plus 4 is 4 modulus 6. And 0 plus 5 is 5 modulus 6. 1 plus 0 is 1 modulus 6. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 3 is 3. You have your 4. We have your 5. 1 plus 5 is 6. That's 0 modulus 6. 2 plus 0 is 2. We have 3. 4. 2 plus 3 is 5. 2 plus 4 is 6. That's 0 modulus 6. 2 plus 5 is 7. That's 1 modulus 6. 3 plus 0 is 3. You have 4, 5. 3 plus 3 is 6. That's 0 modulus 6. 3 plus 4 is 7. That's 1 modulus 6. 3 plus 5 is 8. That's 2 modulus 6. We have 4 plus 0 is 4, 5. Sorry, that's, this is 5. Then 4 plus 2 is 6, that's 0, modulus 6. 4 plus 3 is 7, that's 1, modulus 6. 4 plus 4 is uh, 8, that's 2, modulus 6. 4 plus 5 is 9, that's um, 3, modulus 6. Again, that's a 3. Then we have 5 plus 0 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 0, modulus 6. 5 plus 2 is 7, that's 1, modulus 6. 5 plus 3 is 8, that's 2, modulus 6. 5 plus 4 is 9, that's 3, modulus 6. And 5 plus 5 is 10, that's 4, modulus 6. With all of this, again, we are sure that this is a non-empty set because we have the elements under Z6, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And at the same time, since all the results in this KDS table are either 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and they are all elements of Z6 or our G set G okay this this means that the closure property holds for this given operation under this given set okay so with this let's proceed now to the conditions for a group let's start with G sub 1 or G1 now G1 talks about the associativity of our star. A star is associative in G. Or again, G is G6. So let's, this is the same. This is G. Okay. Or again, Z sub 6. Now, if you talk about associativity, it should follow like this A star B, star C is equal to A star b star c but there are a lot of um, elements here we could have a lot of trials and uh, replications but of course uh, one or two or three is not necessarily enough for us to say that associativity will hold we need to check all but since um, this is still under addition and all the elements for z6 are also integers so we can invoke here the associativity of integers so we can say here since um, addition is associative in general okay and 
we have here the elements of Z6, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 are elements of Z as well. Okay? We can say now, then the star is associative. We're invoking here the associativity of our um, integers, which are also the elements of, zero, of Z6. It's just that we are going to Im implement modulo, uh, operation modulo in the result. But either way, I guess if it's okay for us to start with this, associative in Z sub 6, okay? Which is modulo, okay? If you don't uh, like this, we could also try, of course, giving examples ex for associativity. But uh, again, it's too general because we have a lot of examples that we could try on. That's enough for our G. Therefore, star, uh, we have here the star as associative in Z6, so we don't need to redo this one. Let's proceed to our... Sorry. Proceed to our G2. G2 is on the idea of the existence of our identity element. Let A be element of G or Z6. Find E which is element of G or Z6 such that we have here A star E equal to E star A equal to E for all A. Sorry, this is A by the way. A for all A element of G or Z6. Now let me copy this here. Tried to copy. I tried copying this from last time, but I'm just gonna copy the um, scribbles or the doodles here or the text which is for red. But let me re copy here the other operations. So of course this is per star zero one two three four and five zero one two three four and five. So, simply look at the keyless table. We don't need to, uh, what you call this one, represent anymore our G2 in, um, what you call this one, in algebraic form because we already have our examples here because this is a finite set. We can see here the existence of our uh, identity and for addition, the identity is actually zero, okay? So, we're going to look at all these zeros here, okay? So, we have here zero star 0 is 0 1 star 0 is equal to 0 star 1 which is equal to zero, uh, 1 sorry that's 1 then 2 star 0 is equal to 0 star 2 is 2 3 star 0 is 0 star 3 that's a 3 4 star 0 0 star 4 is 4 and 5 star 0 0 star 5 is 5 so we see that all of this returns to their identity if we are going to uh, operate it together with all of this. And what are these? It's just one value, is 0. And that's our identity for addition modulo. Our E is 0. And this is actually element of our Z6 or our G. Okay? This would mean that our identity is on the set itself. And then G2 is satisfied. Okay. Then we go to G3, which will be using the same Cayley's table. So G3, looking for the inverse for all A. So we're going to find the inverse, still element of G, such that uh, A star E, uh, sorry, inverse. We are now in inverse is equal to a inverse times a equal to our e which is zero so we're going to look at a certain inverse when we multiply or when we operate rather when we operate an element we're going to look for the inverse where the result will become zero in short we're going to look at the zeros here here's zero this is zero 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 your identity element so we could see here Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't have much space, so let me just copy here at the, at the, at the side. Uh, yeah, I'll move it here. So for zero, star zero, that's equal to zero, right? For one, 
it should be paired with 5. Okay. 1, 5 is also 5 star 1. That's 0. 5 star 1. For 2, its, it's pair should be 4. 2 star 4 is 4 star 2. That's 0. And 4, 3 is the 3 itself. Okay. 3 star 3 is equal to 0. So we could see here that we, when we operate this element with this corresponding element, we will return to our identity. Hence, this pair here of, are actually what we consider as their inverses. So we can see here that the inverse of 0 is 0, the inverse of 1 is 5, the inverse of four, 2 is 4, the inverse of 3 is a 3 itself, the inverse of 5 is uh, let's start with 4 so that we could arrange it properly. Okay. The inverse of 4, sorry, is 2, and the inverse of 5 is 1. And all of this, 0, these values here and here, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, are still elements of G or Z6. This would mean that G3 is also satisfied with g3 satisfied g2 as well and our g1 which is on associativity we can now say that our set uh, let me place yeah for this vacant space here okay we can now say that our g which is equal to z6 is a group okay under our star which is defined as addition modulus 6 now this is now the result for the verification for this given item. Thank you very much for watching.